Hello my YouTube friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm working more on my RPG Maker project. <coughs> Excuse me. Last time I dove into the code for RPG Maker, which I'm going to go ahead and close that out in case I screw something up on accident without meaning to. Because that would be very bad. And I managed to fix a... What I would consider... A major bug with the program. But it might be a minor bug. I don't really know. And it's been an issue since... VX Ace. It might have been in there with... XP as well. I don't know. I don't remember that far back. I didn't really... I didn't really mess with RPG Maker that much, or well, that deep when I messed with XP in Summer School. And you're thinking, wait, Summer School? They allowed that? Yes. Surprisingly, yes. My school allowed it back in Summer School. <coughs> and that's how I got introduced to making video games. And that is how I got introduced to RPG Maker, Game Maker Studio, not the one that's currently out now on Steam, but a different version. I think it was like Game Maker Studio and that was it, like not even two at the time. <coughs> there was something else, like I think I think it was like 3D game maker or whatever it was and everything was just made for you already and you chose the character you wanted to play as the maps were made already and you just ran through like a pre-made dungeon-esque thing and if you died you died you started over it might have been that I, I don't remember the name of it but that's how I got introduced to making games. And back then, I've always wanted to know how games were made. <coughs> but I had no idea what was involved. But now I kind of do, except for like the 3D part of it. So, and honestly, do games need to be 3D or look, you know, realistic? No. No, they don't. In my opinion, as long as the gameplay is good, the story is good. Who cares about graphics? And that's why I use what I use. And someone um, sent a comment. I'm going to open the comment up, actually. Because I've seen people do it all the time on YouTube. So I guess it's okay to do it. I, I don't know. Uh, let me go to YouTube. And yeah, YouTube. Hello. <laughs> you can see who I follow or whatever. I don't care. Someone sent me a comment, and, and they make an uh, interesting point. I want to go ahead and open this up in YouTube itself. Um, hold on. How do I do that? Over here. No. So, this person made an interesting point. The engine sucks. I agree. It has its flaws. <coughs> Use RPG Architect instead. I had that wish listed when this person commented. A newer and more customizable version of this old RPG engine. I can't see I can't stand to see people bang their heads over this retro engine. I mean, the person has a point. I mean okay, granted this version I'm using is like four or five years old. It's barely been updated. They like do two updates a year. And that's always what they've done. And Yeah, that's you know. There's bugs that persist in this since day one. It did not have a key feature in it that should have been there since day one. But it was not there. And that key feature is this. 
And the person who sent me that comment, if you if you watch this, I appreciate your feedback. I totally agree. This engine is outdated. They have added more stuff as they release new ones for us to purchase, which I'm not going to buy any new ones at all. This is the last one that I'm going to buy. No more. The only way that I will buy a new one is if they partner with Unreal Engine and they allow us to build in 2D like this, but then Unreal takes the 2D assets and then converts that with AI into 3D. That's the only way I'll buy a new one. The only way. Will that ever happen? Probably not. Probably not. And honestly, that would probably cost like a thousand bucks or more because it's an Unreal Engine. And honestly, do I need a? Would I buy it? Probably not. But the key feature that you said that, that, that should have been there on day freaking one, not this one, obviously, is this. This was not here on day one. And it's not the way I want it either. This is not how I want it. I want it to be the exact same as VX Ace, where you can have where you have the full version, the half version, the one fourth version, and the one eighth. That's all they need to do for this. And the certain parts of the event commands where the transfer zoom where the zoom function for the transfer map makes sense. If they can just do that, then the engine is done. Then fix the minor bugs like being able to undo what you've done after you save the program. <coughs> because this engine allows you to, let's say I make, let's say I do this, then I press control S to save, then I press control Z. That should not be allowed. That is a bug. It's been there since day one. If they can fix that, program is basically done. They don't need to worry about updating it for bugs anymore. At all. There's still some minor bugs that I can work around, but that's a massive one that needs to be freaking fixed since day one. And they've not fixed it. I've pointed out several times in the forums on Steam and their website, and they won't fix it at all. I finally got the freaking transfer zoom function added after five freaking years though. So those of you who use this engine, you're welcome. I'm the reason why it's there. And I can show you proof too. But yeah, I mean this this person makes makes you know, he's right or she's right, I don't know which. Or they're right. Oh wait. I have my reasons for not believing that shit. Um and then I reply back with, I've been using Maker since XP. I know the engine the most, which is true, I do. Then granted, I have forgotten how to do a venting because I have not done a venting in a while, but it will come back to me. There are a few exception, exceptions like coding. I have no idea how to code at all. And that gives me a massive headache. Being able to make a game without coding suits my needs. I might switch to a new engine after I'm done with this one. I have come so far on MZ, switching now would be a waste. And, it, and that's true. And I said, however, I agree this engine is outdated and needs some much needed features, but the devs refuse. Some of the features would be tactical turn-based. So like Fighter Emblem or XCOM Combat or a proper working active time battle system like what Final Fantasy 9 has or what Final Fantasy should go back to but no Yoshi P refuses to do that because he thinks he's the god of Final Fantasy and he's not he's ruined the fucking franchise prove me wrong and here I, I fought for the zoom function to be added into MZ under transfer player. Lazy devs left it out in both MZ and 
MV. And it, yeah, they actually did in both in both of them. Bugs since day one. And and if I want to do a sequel DLC, I'll have to use MZ again, which I don't mind doing. Then they replied back, or he or she, whoever. I yeah, I'm just gonna stop there. I don't yeah, the whole that whole nonsense is it is is a cancer on the world. Just just gonna leave it there. Is the same database with its own RTP event block scripting like RPG Maker. It has a UI builder so you can easily customize the UI. So I watched some videos on Architect to see how the, um, they call it scripting, but it's eventing, it's the same thing as eventing, to see how that was. <clears throat> and in my opinion, it's, it's a mess, but it's still in early access. Instead of having to do, I don't like these menus. I, w I would prefer to just have this pop up and then work from this versus having to right click and then choose what I want to choose for the event. I would prefer to have a menu like this so it's easier to work with. But granted, the devs for RPG Architect are doing their own thing. I respect that, but this is what I prefer. So. And maybe with the, if, if what this person says is true, and you can actually customize the UI, like the actual UI for all of this stuff, and not just the game itself that you're building, maybe you can customize it to look like this, or similar to this. I don't know. I don't have Architect. It's still in early access. And that's fine. Let the devs work on it. But I prefer what I prefer, and I one day maybe I will switch to Architect. Who knows? I think this person meant scripts, and not, not like, like, you know, scripts, not scripts. I don't know what knobs means. Maybe like options. And in settings to make it even more custom. And I, I did watch a video on it, and it, for someone who made a, um, their own title screen, you didn't. Excuse me, holy crap! They didn't even have to go into Architect's backbone at all. Like no JavaScript, no C sharp, or nothing at all to make any of that stuff at all. You could do it within. Within this menu here, basically. Within the database. And I thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> However. I did see, a like, to me, I saw, one, like, one flaw with it. Uh, this is my opinion, of course. They allow you to add your own text to the title screen. Now, granted. I can add my own text or text font to this as well. I've tried doing this before in the past. I've tried changing Verdana to Times New Roman as a test before. Before I started recording this. Like when it first came out. I used a website that was, I think, provided by... RPG Maker themselves, or someone else who found one. I found Times New Roman. I downloaded it. I went to put it into the files for MZ, where the font goes. And it did not change the font in the engine at all. It still showed fallback font Verdana Sans Serif. So, in my opinion, for those who have no idea how to change font or add their own font, architect devs need to have a list of different fonts, like five or 10 
five is a great number of different fonts that you can choose from for those who do not know how to add fonts or how like like myself because I cannot change from Verdana. I've tried. It does not work. That's another bug that I don't know how to fix. Other other people can, but for some reason I'm not able to. I tried and it won't work. So the architect devs need to have a list of default fonts to choose from for those who are not able to because of lack of knowledge, like myself as well, or in case they get a font and the program says, nope. So that's just my ideas, you know, for them. They may not see it, of course, but you know, some feedback, of course. And that's what MZ should have done is have, instead of just one, one fallback font, they should have just done, you know, should have just had, you know, a list instead of just one. But honestly, no, there's nothing wrong with Verdana at all. It works. But, <clears throat> but anyways, enough of that. That person had, you know, some, they were, they're right on what they said. The engine does suck. It is outdated. And I agree. But anyways, enough of uh, on that. Let's get back to the actual thing at hand. Last time I modified some of the scripting, the, the backbone, the JavaScript code to f mess with speedrunners. It may or may not work, so they might go in and change it themselves. And if they do, I don't know what to do. And actually, I'm going to go into here. And this will be a top. Oh, actually, oh yeah, it'll be a top priority one. Um, top priority. Because speed running, in my opinion, ruins the game. If you're gonna play, if you're gonna buy a game, play the game. Don't break it. If the game breaks on its own, save the game. Or you know, I'll, if it if the game breaks, load your last save, and if it happens again, let the person know, hey, your game broke here. This is what I did. I loaded the save, and it happened again. Don't, don't take the bug and exploit it. Let the person know or persons know who made the game and they can fix it. Don't exploit it for, for times because that just, it takes the fun out of games. Uh, no, I need. Top priority if speedrunners fix coding, which I may not ever know this at all, people, who knows? Who knows? I'll, I'll have to monitor websites and see if, you know, anything is posted on it for times or whatever. Um... Add weight in <clears throat> honestly I might just do that regardless. Yeah I know, I'll just do that regardless. Add wait time in I can't do it in the actual show text.
in between each show text. In between each show text event command. So that is a top priority. So I need to go back into the coding here. Change that back to ten. And it was under Windows. And then I need Control F. I need <clears throat> looking for a wait timer. There it is, right there. Right there. Start wait. That is it right there. So then I hit the wrong one. No, oh, this works. Yeah, this works. Okay. So that is a top priority. All right. Time to fart with speedrunners in a very dirty way. So I need to put down the player menu. All right. <coughs> no. New. No. Wait for 150. Copy this one. Paste it. Paste it, 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 paste it. I'm gonna be a freaking dick. Because <laughs> I want people to read this shit. And I want to fuck with speedrunners too. Oh, I can be a real dick. Nah, we won't be doing that. Oh, and yes. Nah. I'm a, I'm, I'm a douche. Because, yes. Or, or, or. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I mean, I could. I, I, I totally could. I totally could, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Alright, so now I want to run this and see what happens. I'm curious. Let's see if that works. And yep, so that is fixed. Yep, I'm pressing and holding the button down. Oh, okay, so it makes that go away. Oh, uh, that's not going to work. Okay. That's not going to work. It makes all that go away. So, I think I need to have it set in the coding itself. <laughs> I need to have the extra long... Yeah. No. No. I need to have this as well. Okay, I don't think that's going to work then. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, I know. That's not going to work. That's, a, that's way too long of a wait. <laughs> that's way too long of a wait. Holy crap. No, that's not, that's not going to work. Oh, crap. No, nope, wanna crap. No, 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 no. Um, yes. Because <laughs> if you do that, you cannot undo it. <laughs> you have to start all over again. Crap, dude. <laughs> what if I did like 60 frames and not? Okay, so now let's try it. Let's try 60 frames versus, you know, instead of what it was before. So control C and then control V. And I, and I won't do every single line this time. I'll just do like the first few. I'll just do that much right there. And then see what it does. I'm curious. Now we gotta wait for them to walk forward. Was I might speed them up, maybe. Who knows? Now it's still gonna make it to where, yeah. I mean, it's not that long of a wait. If I could add a wait timer, I wonder, hold on, can I? Is there a way to add a wait on? No, 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 I want to edit. Oh, there is, okay, there is, there is, there is, there is. There is. Wait one second, okay, hold on. There is. <laughs> oh yeah boy okay so we may not need to change the coding at all then Cancel the effect it displays text at all times. Oh, dude. Oh, I see what they've done. Instead of going into the coding to do what I just did, to make it to where the line shows fast, they put it here for us so that we wouldn't have to code it at all. I see what they've done. Oh shit, okay. That's how they got away from having to code it in the past, I guarantee it. Because in the past, the, like the very first iteration of, of this, did not have any coding at all. So they had these commands to cancel out certain things, like show line fast. You can cancel that out with a certain combo of, of keys, like backslash, and then I think less than or greater than, one of the two. I think it's less than. And that cancels out show line fast in in the um in the coding that cancels it out completely or it's supposed to anyway this forgot to 
change the coding to where it does not do that to yeah okay <clears throat> I see now increase text change text size to in replaced with currency I knew that one already I, I knew the currency and then I knew then the color as well Set the position with, set the X position with the top left of the window as the origin. Replace with the backslash character. Replaced with the backslash character. So backslash backslash. Oh no, or, or is that? There's one that says replaced with backslash character. So if I put two backslash, what does that do? It only shows one. Why would that be there then, if it doesn't do anything? Unless it means that, that's, okay, I think that's supposed to be on the top. I really do. Is this in the wrong spot? Yeah, it's in the wrong spot. I think, I think that's telling you how to do things. Or they forgot to, re yeah. I think that's, um, unless, hold on. No, this preview. No, okay. So it does not work. And then if I do this, what does it do then? Nothing different. Oh, that opens the gold menu. Okay. So it won't show it here. Which I think it should, but whatever. So, let's test this real quick. If I do the color one, so slash C, and then I think it's open bracket. Yes, open bracket, no, bracket, three, close bracket, green. So yeah, that does work. Now if I do this, does it still work? It does, okay. So I don't need a space there at all. And now, I know I spelled you wrong, but I wanna see, okay. So that little black line there, is the margin for if I have a face. And now it's back here. So with the coding here, that's right. It does not count as text at all. So, okay. <clears throat> and I might wanna put the weight one at the very end as well. So let's try this, I'm curious. So wait for one second. And then that would be that one, right? No. 
Wait for one second. And I can probably put multiple in there as well. Nope. Nope, hit number one again. Alright, let's try this out. I'm curious. I've never actually messed with this stuff too much, just the coloring and stuff. So I'm curious to see if I can do this and not have to change the coding. Oh shit, it does. And then it has the additional wait timer as well. Oh shit, hold on now. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. I'm curious. This was at 10. No. 10. Save it. Oh shit, hold on now. I'm curious. If I put that in all of it, I won't have to mess with the coding at all. But I did want this fixed to where you can speed the game up. Oh, dude, hold on. Can I add multiple? Can I? Okay, hold on. Let me add, like, just, like, copy. I'm curious. I'm actually, I'm actually genuinely curious. Will this work? Because if it does... So that's fixed. No way, it actually works! No, it broke it. No, it didn't. How many seconds was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine seconds. And it freaking works? Oh shit, dude. Okay, hold on, I wonder. Then we take this, copy it, delete it, and then do this. What does it do now? Does it wait for the text? Does it make it wait? I'm curious. Does it make the text wait? It does. Okay. That's interesting to know. That's, oh dude, that is sweet, okay. <laughs> so I don't need to code that. So I can just... Oh, 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 oh man. Paste it and then... One, two, three, four... Five. So that'll be three seconds then. Wait. No, four seconds. So it should wait for four seconds now. Not 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 nine. Bro forcing them to read shit. Oh my god, in four seconds is still way too long. Let's make it like two, I think. Yeah, two should be good enough, I think. <laughs> I know I'm closing out the freaking game itself because I'm used to XP, you know, XP and all that stuff. Not being able to... That was not two seconds, that was longer than two seconds. That was like three. Is there three in there? 
No, there's only two. Interesting. <laughs> oh shit, dude, this is great. And then they'll have to go through all, they'll have to find a way to edit all this stuff. I don't, I don't think they'll be able to. Oh shit, dude, this is great. I love this. <laughs> I love this, dude. No, 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 I, I, I need a period there. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, this is great. No, I hit the wrong one again, son of a bitch. God damn it, I hit enter again. No. So we can wait for two seconds. Oh man. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm so dirty. Oh no, I gotta do this now. That is more than two seconds. Yeah, no, that is way more than two seconds. Yeah, no, I think that's like three or four seconds. Oh my God, dude. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh no, it's two seconds. It's two seconds, okay. Then I, I will shave off two seconds every time. Oh man, the speedrunners are gonna hate me, and that's okay. <laughs> because I hate speedrunners. They ruin games. <laughs> they ruin games. Oh, I love this. That's not what that does. I did not know copying that while it was highlighted would do that. I don't think that's supposed to do that, but what do I know? Fat guard. <laughs> I made him as fat as I could because reasons. <laughs> I hit the wrong button again, so not a biscuit eater. No, actually, I don't want this one to have have that. No, 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 no. I just want to make it faster. I don't want this one to have it. Because he's being cut off. Can I make this one faster? Wait for button input. It already does that after a timer. So that one's kind of pointless. <laughs> that command is kind of pointless. Cancel the effect that displays all text at once. Yeah, I, I changed that into coding, but I could always do that here too. Do not wait for input after displaying text. I mean, nah, 
I think I'll leave it as it is. Yeah, this, this one's good. This one is good. Because he's, he's being cut off. So... Yeah, he, he's being cut off. So I don't want that one to have a wait timer on it at all. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> now let's run through it. Now we run through the slog. <laughs> the extremely slow slog of doom. How is our special guest? He has been surprisingly well behaved. Well, 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 the warden is here. Yeah, and see, it gives you enough time to read it. Yeah, having it wait gives you enough time to read it. It really does. And it forces you to read because this is a, a, a story. It's a C. It's my own take on a CRPG, so you have to read it to understand the story. And it may not be a perfect CRPG, but it's my own spin on one. That's why I've been playing a bunch of CRPGs lately to get an understanding for how they work. It may not be perfect, but you know what? I don't care. It is what it is. Yeah, everything is working. Our first alert chief meteorologist Ron Hurst. A new station alert has arrived for your area. Yes, I know it's going to be a hundred freaking degrees outside. Do I really need to know? No. We got some staying inside today, where it's nice and cool, where I have air conditioning. And today's Sunday, so I don't need to go check the mailbox because there is no post on Sundays. Unless I get my Harry Potter um, email, you never know. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Oh, I didn't do both of those at the same time. That sucks. Oh, well. I can always change that. Hold on. Um. Oh, yeah. I don't want this to have weight on it. Edit. Weight. But I want this one to be weight. Yeah. So that will I'll, I'll fix that issue. No big deal. Easy fix. I might. I might have it to where. Yeah, this is not where I want you to end up at, I don't think. Yeah, not here. Because where does it go? Yeah, I mean, maybe. <coughs> um. Yeah, maybe I will have it go here. <coughs> I don't have... Um, chairs in this run yet. I need to add chairs. Got toilets and all that stuff. I don't have chairs. Which I can do chairs later, no big deal. I can do chairs whenever I'm actually like eventing it and whatnot. Like heavily eventing. I might have it go here. I don't know yet. Um, what about the inn? No, not the inn. Um, Babe, no, not here either. This is part of the, as you're going up north. I might have it be at the pub and eat, yeah. Wait, 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 yeah, definitely, definitely here. 
Or... Oh, no, I got an idea. Oh, I'm not going to say anything, actually. I might do that. Or... Yeah, I want to do this. Have it go here. And then... Where at exactly? Maybe right here and then face up. Yeah, face up and face in front of that statue right there. Yeah, and that will be okay. Next, I want to have it to where I, I need an event, if at all possible. How long have I been recording for? Eh, about an hour. Not bad. I need an event that allows the player to choose their class. Wait, do I have classes made yet? I do. Good. So I have four, I might make some more later, who knows. Honestly, probably not. I think four is good enough, honestly. I mean, I could multi-class or, you know, like, class change, but... Do we sit back to level one? And not knowing what, le like, not knowing what level the person was when the class changed, I wouldn't be able to make it so they would be set back to that level. I'm sure I could invent that, but I'm not quite sure how I would do that. Okay. So, um, hold on. Okay, this. Save this. Make sure it actually saves because yay. So to make, um, make it to where you can choose a class. It's not hard. It will take some time, but it's not hard at all. Next step, I will need to make it so the player can choose gender, male, female. Because there's only two genders, male, female, nothing else, because reasons. There's nothing for reversing or anything else, because yes, there's only two genders in the world real life or fake worlds um i would have to make it to where they can choose the character that they want to play as so i cannot let them make their own character you know full in-depth character but i can give them I can maybe give them the image of the character for male and female. Maybe. If not, I can maybe do that, yeah.
<sighs> trying to think of how I would do that. Granted, does it doesn't really matter? I mean, not really. It's a 2D RPG game. So it doesn't really matter what their character has on them because you won't see anything change visually when they equip things. So I could just do a generic. Well, okay, it wouldn't really be generic. Okay, I guess it would be because it has to do with the default stuff in the program, which is fine, but I could do just one male and one female for, yeah, I think I'll be doing that instead. Cause that would be a lot easier to do. It would take up less time, less space in the database, which doesn't matter to me, honestly, about space. Um, I'm trying to think here. My monitor went to sleep. Hell yeah. Okay, so... How would I do this then? I want it to continue from this event here. So I need to figure out how this will work from this event. So I think before the transfer event, I need it to fade to black. So where's that? So where's, where's fade? Where's fade? Here it is, fade out screen. Okay. So the transfer pl player is also going to fade out, which I can get rid of that now because I don't need it to do that anymore at all. So none on this one because I don't need it to do that anymore. So in between this, I can do a sample text. And I'm not gonna say tune because tune is the incorrect Terminology, it is character. Character. Not tune, but character. Anyone who uses tune, you're a dumbass. I'm sorry. When you're making a character in a video game, you don't call them tunes. They're characters. So which character and that should do it and then it should transfer to here and afterwards. We'll have to run through all of this however. just to make sure it works but actually you know hold on what i can do is i can do this copy this paste it over here Do this, and then we have it made over somewhere else. We're good. Which character would you like to choose? Okay, so now we have that. So, okay. Can I make it to where it will show a Braxis? 
I think I can actually. Let's make, hold on, hold on, I wonder, I wonder, hold on. So let's do a show choice. And then yes will be a Braxis, no will be... Okay, hold on. So... So for yes, or for one, that will, I will have it show... I'll have it show a Braxis as a test. Change profile. Hmm. Is there not one where I can do that? Can I not? Hmm. Chain, okay, so this is all the actor stuff over here. Chain state, that's our status effects, name. So that's the background stuff. Select item, change party member. Can I show the party member though? Is there a way to show the party member? Hmm. Chief Meteorologist Ron Hurst, a new station alert has arrived for your area. Gather player followers. Gather followers. Change transparency. I guess show image? Would we just do that? So I might have to make everything an image. Yeah, I don't think there is a way to show the character itself unless I make it an image. Which I don't think that would work because I mean, it might work. That wouldn't do it. That doesn't, that doesn't show on the screen. Let me try something real quick. I'm curious. Hold on. I'm going to here. I want to copy. Um, I want to copy that one real quick. Copy this one into. Here. Show picture. Show picture. So let's be let's be one, and then show picture will be this sign. See if that works or not. I'm curious. Because if that works. 
it didn't work. It may not work at all. Um, opacity. Let's try additive. And then let's try 50% width and height as well. Yeah, so it's not going to work at all. Okay. Let's try no. Yeah. Oh, because it's, it's on a black screen. That's why. It's on a black screen. You, can't see, you cannot see anything on a black screen. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, okay. You cannot see anything on a black screen. Oh, and it's automatically doing that. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. That's what it's doing. Okay, it's, autom it's just automatically going there. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, yeah, so it is working. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it you can do that. Okay, cool. But not on a black screen. So that. So, okay. Yeah, so that idea won't work because I want a black screen of showing the images of the characters. So I am better off just having a generic male female character. And if they choose male, they'll get the one that I pre-made for them. If they choose female, they'll get one that I made for them as well. Because of, well, reasons. But it's good to know that. Not a big deal. It is upsetting. But, I mean, live and learn. You know, I've never done this before. I've usually just made, you know, a game and ran with it. I never finished a game before. But, you know, live and learn. So, let's just move on. Let's re-add everything to... Discard changes, and then this is back, which I don't need that anymore. Um, let's just take all of this stuff, copy it, paste it back in here, delete this one. Okay, so now we know that, I need to make the generic characters. So, yeah, <clears throat> I think I will do that in the next video because this one has is over an hour long. And with my crummy upload speed, it's probably going to take two hours to upload this. So, yeah, I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day.